Hello everyone. So today let us continue our journey of exploring uh, Easy BI and I'm making this video on Easy BI after like a couple of weeks. I think maybe three weeks now because uh, I was a bit occupied with other things in life but uh, but I'm back with a video on Easy BI and as I mentioned before I will try to make a lot of videos on Easy BI because Easy BI is one app that can solve lot of your problems when it comes to reporting in Jira. Now today I want to basically talk about uh, a very simple way to get the number of issues of a specific type and display it nicely. Now let us say you are uh, and by the way this is applicable for I think almost any kind of project it could be a Jira software project or a normal Jira business core based project but this is this is re really useful and uh, needed when it comes to Jira service management. So if you're responsible for maybe managing your service desk tickets, you want to know some numbers like let us say active outages or uh, number of uh, major incidents and so on. So basically you want to know the number and of course uh, you have the capability of creating something like a pie chart or maybe some kind of a report that will talk about uh, issues getting created over the period of time and of course resolved. So, so far we have uh, learned how to do a simple pie chart, how to work on a heat map with some conditional formatting and uh, we have also learned how to add a trend line and uh, this is something that we have been doing and by the way I also talked about how to create your own Gantt chart which is really interesting but today I want to do a very simple thing to simply display a number somewhere on this particular uh, dashboard and uh, before I can work on the dashboard before I add a report on a dashboard I have to of course create that report so let us go to all projects which is my folder where I'm keeping all my nice reports and if you click on new report you can then of course see this familiar uh, option that uh, will let you create a new report so let us uh, do something with uh, uh, the time. So I'll probably drag my time dimension to rows. And the moment you do it, you will immediately see this number here called number of issues created 321. And right now it says all times, but of course, you know, we can work on the range later on. I mean, I will talk about how to focus on a specific range, maybe past one month. You can do that. Uh, you can, uh, of course, you know, look at the, the options here, like last 30 days or last four weeks. But I want to right now show you how to get a number and display it nicely. Now when you're looking at this issue is created, maybe you want to know, uh, l l let us say you are working on a specific uh, type of uh, uh, issue. So maybe you can bring, here, bring in your uh, uh, issue type from top to your rows and maybe you can filter it. But let us say you have uh, something like uh, I'm trying to get a simple uh, measure that I will probably show you. So l let us see if uh, we can just work on the issue number of issues created. So this is just a number but to display it nicely on a dashboard maybe we can take a look at uh, some of the options. So if you look, look at bar this is fine but uh, we don't really want a bar we just need a number. Similarly for line it is just a dot on uh, this timeline. Pie chart of course uh, is uh, not really useful here because it is just one number. Scatter is uh, not relevant here. Timeline not relevant here. Map again uh, not relevant but if you look at uh, the again also Gantt chart so I'm trying to show you all of them but the last option gauge is the one that I want to show you. So gauge can be use can be useful if you want to uh, basically show uh, some kind of a gauge like like a meter but uh, uh, this is not really relevant in our case because as I mentioned before we just want number. So what you can do is you can click on this only values. So now you have this nice number called 321 and maybe you can uh, uh, bring in one more measure if you want like issues resolved. So you have two numbers and by the way this can be of course you know let us say major instance or uh, outages for example based on the criteria but this is of course a way to 
display a number so it is nice and i i can see here that you know we have uh, uh, nice numbers that will help us in uh, maybe understanding what is happening so issues created 321 issues resolved 338 issues closed to some number and you can have just one number if you want and if you save it um, you can of course uh, then uh, display it somewhere um, so maybe you can name your report as uh, issue statistics and uh, you can then of course use it uh, somewhere in your uh, dashboard if you want so if you go to the dashboard and if you click on edit you can then uh, bring in your report which is uh, going to display the numbers somewhere on the dashboard i want to display it somewhere on top so i'll probably bring this uh, to the very first row in my report i think this is looking nice maybe not okay i'll probably try to do it again yep this looks nice now and i'll expand this Maybe I'll convert it to page or maybe not because I want this to be. So this page option is, is useful if you want to uh, display this on the first page of your uh, of your uh, report. So if you select this, this will uh, basically when you generate, a, generate one PDF file, uh, anything which is on that particular page will be the first page and so on. So I think this is fine and, and if I of course uh, want I can then take a look at it and by the way in, in my in my report i don't really have any filter so right now we have this uh, filter for all the dashboards uh, all, all the dashboard reports uh, but not not in our uh, report so we can do that if i want i can go to this so i need project and issue type so go to issue go to go to the actual report and uh, what i want a what, what i want to do is i want the project and the issue type save go to the dashboard and then now we have and then of course uh, these uh, options will work so if we select android this number will show you something related to that particular uh, uh, project and it looks good I, li I like it i think uh, the the number is now giving me this information that i need and uh, I can of course take decisions based on this because uh, that is what we want to do. We want to take uh, informed decision decisions based on the the information that you have on the issues. So that is all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this watching this video and you learned something and you learned something new today. Bye bye.